I want to know who Simon is and what's with that fake French accent. I know who Simon is. I've got a file on him. It's this thick. Like, I mean, literally, every time I turn around, he's right there. He's right there. Simon. Where's my wallet? Hmm. I'm Simon. Game of poker. Simon Lovell is a dear friend of mine. He's um, a suave, sophisticated charmer who will take your wallet without your knowledge. And he is the guy that we go to whenever we need somebody to answer a con question. Uh, I started off when I was a kid. My grandfather was involved in that industry. So at four years old, I was learning how to cheat at cards and hustle pool. He'd take me down the local pool hall when I was eight years old. From there, I saw my way through university, hustling pool and playing poker, and then realized that I enjoyed that a lot more than actually the, the real world, if you like. I preferred the world of the grifter, and for 10 or 11 years, that's what I did. And I think that could actually be a professional con man. He, he does it very, very well. Uh, he's, you know, he's, uh, he doesn't look like a con man, which is a perfect start for being a con man. He's very calm, he's very relaxed, nothing really throws him. And that's what being a con man is all about. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, what we're going to have is... Rob, put it down yeah, and put, the case yeah, put it down and Neil come bump on with this guy's there. And then Neil, so and it's then okay Neil, that Neil walks absolutely. back then? Oh, it is? Okay, because I was thinking one. Well, today we're doing a how a team of thieves on the street would steal a briefcase or indeed some object of value off somebody. And essentially, it's a team effort. You, you need what they call a crew. Uh, so he's carrying the briefcase. A guy is going to come up to him with a bag of groceries, and ac apparently, accidentally bump into him, drop his groceries everywhere, stumble, and the guy who's going to get taken is going to put his briefcase down and start helping with the groceries. Another team member is going to come in and partially block the view, saying what's going on here. It all gets very confusing, and that's when somebody carrying. An identical briefcase walks up, puts it down, picks up the other one, switches it, walks up the road and the briefcase gets hidden inside another bag. Um, but essentially the bump and drop is, if you come to New York City, you won't need to look for it, it'll look for you. The top things you need to be a common, A, number one above all else is ice cold heart. You can't care about anybody at all. The second attribute of being a con man is you have to have the ability to, to, to kind of morph into any situation. You have to be a chameleon, if you like. And that's why I often say that being a good con man is like being a good actor, because you have to be able to play every role. The most important factor is you have to be utterly charming. You can't look like their conception of a con man. You have to be almost invisible, like a ghost. It's like being best friends with the invisible man and paying for the privilege.